<laughs> they did a captain salute. That was adorable. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Jude already showing some proficiency in power shielding lasers. We'll see if he can keep it up. And uh, Bambi's big about the gun so far. I like it. Good slide off. Alright. Okay, so I've actually... I hadn't played Bambi's Falco in, like, all of quarantine because I don't really net play. And then I played it for the first time, like, two weeks ago, maybe? And I was like, damn, Bambi has a Falco. Like, it's, it's nice. And, uh, yeah, he's already showing some proficiency in slide off. And I think his punish is pretty decent, too. Alright, that's a good nair to cover the roll. Oh. No way. <laughs> oh wow, Jude did like the perfect sweet spot. I think he may have done the one that beats like Ops attacking, like the accidental flawless uh, sweet spot. But yeah, Falco at the corner versus Marth, that's what happens, you die at 20. Yep, nice slide offs. Uh, I don't know what the Marth does to counter that option, but I'm sure that there is something that you can do. Nice double dip. Can't believe that shine wave. <sighs> I don't know if that fair was intentional. It was definitely bad. <laughs> oh wow. Bambi's really good at slide off. I'm like, not. I'm okay at it. But like, you don't do it very often as Peach. But it's definitely good. It's not as good. Ace. I hate that F smash. I'm sorry. <laughs> Grab ledge. Oh. Reverse tipper. Interesting. Wow, nice nair. I don't understand slide off versus Marth. Interesting. <laughs> you could do the little uncle punch thing. It's just like two basic inputs. But uh, Bambi's sort of bringing this back. If he could... Okay, he cannot take this stock first. But if he takes it immediately from the angel platform, that's just a one stock deficit. And yeah, he does. He's the jump with the laser. All you have to do is grab ledge or Marth killer. Um, I don't know what the Japanese character in Bambi's tag means. I, I think the spacing from Bambi could use a little bit of work, but he's um, compensating a decent amount by getting in with lasers, because I think his gun game's been pretty solid. Uh, and now I'm getting insecure that they can hear me, because I can hear them very well. Alright. No. Okay. With the cloud there, that double laser is just an absolutely respectable option. Oh, that was genius. I would have fallen for that 100 out of 100 times. Nice roll. Uh, rolling through Marth, low-key one of the best techniques in the game. Nice, up high. Always respectable when you're in the position for it. I really like that wave dash out of shield instead of shield grabbing to get a better positioning on it. Nice, double jump. That was a sick bait. <sighs> I like the wall jump. And yeah, Falco in this position, notoriously oppressive, especially versus characters without great ledge options. And I'm gonna assume that up smash was an attempted up air, but he hits the edge guard. Uh, Omps attacking there doesn't really do much. Uh, but I think Jude went for the Omps attack, but he should just go for survival the eye, unless he could not have lived. I'm not really sure. This is the tech chase. Uh, tech chasing Falco. Ooh, that up smash just scoops. Oh. Nice. <clears throat> the old school Falco option. Oh, he definitely could have comboed that into a second bear if he was ready, but honestly, I would not have been ready for Jude to DI it like that. Alright, if he got the strong hit of fair, that would have been okay. 
Uh, this is still definitely doable. Especially if you can convert this into a kill. Nice fire stall. Into bear F smash. Yep. The special. Nice cookie cutter edge guard. And. Bambi needs to stop double lasering from the ledge. It is just rough. Or maybe not stop completely. I think it's an okay mix up. Or like an objectively pretty good mix up. Interesting counter. I really like Bambi's option coverage there. And yeah, like his punish is pretty decent. Okay. Nice. Bambi getting a lot of mileage off nares. I feel like he's doing the nares kind of in a tricky way. Or like ascending with the hitbox rather than just like nairing at the Marth and getting dash dash dance grab. <sighs> Questionable double jump. Oh. Alright, we're going back to Yoshi's. I think that's a solid counterpick. I'm not a fan of counterpicking... I'm not a fan of Spacey's counterpicking Marth to Dreamland. I feel like it never works. Not never. But I feel like Yoshi's is always the better choice. The better first choice. Granted, Bambi does have a pretty good laser game, but I feel like he's been getting pretty decent mileage off his nares. So I think Yoshi's is a fine choice. And also, the low blast zones were helping him kill Jude a little earlier. Especially because his edge guard flow chart was pretty decent too. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Like on Dreamland, that's a living more. Oh, that's the most. That's the rough combo to get hit by. Okay. Okay. Still double lasering, but that's okay. He didn't get punished for it that time. Ooh, nice no impact land into the F smash. I like that a lot. Ooh, another no impact land. I see Zane do that quite a bit, but not other Mars as much. I'm impressed by a lot of Jude's tech skill and movement stuff. I smash in the corner. The classic. Oh, those no impact lands are absolutely dirty. And this is the sweet spot, and that's gonna be 3-0. I like the captain salute. It's nice. I gotta steal that. 